of being this last year sitting behind David, watching him play, learning everything. He like just watching him and learning from him. It's gonna be a great experience this year. What did you learn from him? Just like technique wise, knocking down hands on routes, where to attack the BB in certain routes and stuff like that. Coach Dye says you're his full speed guy. What's what's that? What's that mean? I mean, just being fast, running fast, doing everything fast. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Always been like that. I mean, yeah, for the most part. We learned that in high school. Where, where'd you learn that at? I mean, I ran track in high school. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. So play fast. Yeah, just play fast. Yeah. Sir. What other specific advice have you gotten from guys like David Sills, Kerry Jennings? I mean, things they told me is like. I mean, it's just really like how to play, how to play receiver. Because like coming in from high school, I didn't really know how to play receiver. I was just out there playing football, being an athlete. And when I got here, they taught me how to be a receiver. And so just like I said earlier, just things like knocking down hands on routes, attacking the DBs, getting to my death, coming in out of breaks and stuff like that. Did it amaze you that it was that complicated? I mean, after, you know, man, you I mean. Yes, sir. Because I mean, most like high, most uh, high school athletes think it's easy coming coming out of high school and be able to transition from high school to college, and it's not. It's really not like that. Like you actually have to know how to play receiver in college to be successful. You just can't get by on hands and speed, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you need a little bit of this. <laughs> I mean, a lot of that. <laughs> yes, sir. Talk, talk about the transition because you came up here with the other coaching staff from Georgia, and then and then uh, the new coaching staff. Talk about that whole process there. I mean, it was difficult. Cause it was a week, it was like a certain span. We didn't have any coaches here, and we were just doing things with Coach Mike downstairs, just lifting and stuff. And then like coming from Coach Carey to Coach Die, it's not really that big of a difference. It's just certain things they teach, they teach things differently. And it's just you have to be a man and adjust to the changes, and just be coachable and just, just like just listen to them, take everything in they're saying to you, and then do what they ask and be coachable. With.